Hi, I'm David E. Guerin from the Laboratory for Non-Invasive Brain-Machine Interface Systems at the University of Houston. I'd like to walk you through our review of the risk management and regulations for lower limb medical exoskeletons. Walking disability is a major healthcare problem. Powered lower limb exoskeletons have recently emerged as devices that can enable users with gait disabilities to walk in an upright posture and potentially bring other clinical benefits. Recognizing this emerging field, the FDA has classified powered exoskeletons as class two medical devices with special controls. Rewalk is the first exoskeleton cleared in the United States by the FDA. Its de novo application was approved in 2014. It has been used as a predicate device for other devices that claim to be substantially equivalent. Indigo's 510K application was approved by the FDA in 2016. EXO was cleared to market in 2016. We also reviewed REX from REX Bionics, which is a self-supporting device with automated movements such as forward, backward, turn, and also stand and sit. We also discussed the HAL exoskeleton developed by Cyberdyne in Japan. We searched for all relevant clinical studies at clinicaltrial.gov. We compiled the inclusion and exclusion criteria for all qualified studies and found vast differences in criteria across studies, even across those that use the same brand of device. More research is needed to establish an understanding of the eligibility criteria for using exoskeletons. We compiled all adverse events that are available to the public, including FDA's database MOD and other clinical trials. We found a series of adverse events that deserve attention, including frequent skin and tissue damage and two bone fractures. We presented a table with the risks that the FDA recognized together with some additional ones that we think are warranted extra attention. The risk management is a core element in the interaction between exoskeleton users, manufacturers, and regulators. Currently, there aren't any standards directly applicable to the exoskeleton industry. We summarized some FDA-recognized ISO standards that are applicable to relevant industries and compared the regulatory path in the US, Europe, and Japan. The industry of powered lower limb exoskeletons is emerging. Manufacturers, users, and regulators need to adapt quickly. Safety is the top concern in medical device development and regulation. We hope this review will help spark constructive discussions leading to better exoskeleton designs, regulations, and greater opportunities for this industry and ultimately significant improvements in the quality of life of the users it serves.